Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be putting to the test and doing a full face of all the makeup I got on my birthday from my husband and my parents. And I have it all here. Let's get started. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Let's get right into the video now. I primed my face with the Milk Hydro Primer. This I bought a while ago, but I haven't used it. As you can see, it's still full. I'm gonna go in with foundation. This foundation is by Lys, L-Y-S, and I got mine in the shade LN6. This is such a beautiful foundation. So I'm gonna apply it with the new Sephora Pro Foundation Brush in 56. Ooh, this is the first time I'm using this brush and it feels so soft soft and dense on the face. It applies the foundation so beautifully. And I'm gonna use a dampened sponge. This is the Morphe sponge and push everything in. Let's go in with concealer. I'm gonna use my Lancome Taint Idol Concealer in the shade Bis W, but oh, 250 Bis W. So I'm just gonna apply a bit in the outer corner, inner corner and I'm going to use this on the eyelids as a primer as well. I love this concealer so much. I'm going to go in with my sponge. This concealer, honestly, it just does not settle into my fine lines. Usually concealers do. I don't know. There's something about this one that just doesn't. Now let's move on to a powder that I just got. This is the Jouet Powder in the shade Fair. And this is a hydrating powder. This is what it looks like like so it's a pressed powder and it's very fine it's very hydrating like it says and I've used it yesterday and I can tell you that it my under eye area did not crease and the makeup looked beautiful on my face so I'm gonna use this Moda highlight and glow brush and I'm just gonna pet it under the eyes for now. I'll be using this on my face as well, but I have some cream pro cream products that I'm gonna go into. This is like up there with my Pat McGrath Fetish Under Eye Powder. It seems like, if not even better, we'll see. But I'm telling you that I had no creasing yesterday at all on my face. Now for bronzer. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed such a beautiful mousse bronzer this is what it looks like i'm gonna use cool beauty angled brush like this i have a list bronzer i have more bronzers so i'm gonna go with all of them on today because i just want to use them and you can never have too much bronzer so i'm gonna start with this guy here this looks very nice caramel sun-kissed shade on my face as you can see so beautiful wow this is such a beautiful bronzer and it's so easy to work into the skin don't worry we're gonna go in with more bronzer i started with the cream one and now I'm going to go into powder ones. And I have the Liss Powder Bronzer. This is in the shade Motivate Light. And oh, I'm so excited to try this one on. So I'm going to set basically this cream bronzer with this powder bronzer. And for that, I'm going to use my... Oh, I'm going to use this uh, unicorn brush. I, I bought this from Claire's. This brush is just beautiful. So I'm just going to apply it on my forehead forehead look how beautiful this combo with this Anastasia Beverly Hills like this combo these two bronzers together look so beautiful look at this stunning on the face beautiful bronzer definitely recommended and this is so affordable from Sephora and in combination with the Liss foundation serum foundation works very beautiful now let's move on to my next face palette <laughs> I have so many so I have the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Nude Gasm Face Palette. So I'm going to use this for blush and highlighter. But I want to add maybe... I don't know if I'm going to add this bronzers today. Because I also have the Dior Palette. And this is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. And mine is in the shade Universal. So I'm going to go in with these two bronzers right now. And give myself more glowiness. I'm basically going to go like this. And... 
add it to the face. Today we're gonna be glowy. Do you see this? Like right away, the glowiness that it added. It's just, this is such a beautiful palette. I love this palette. So for highlighter, I'm gonna go into the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm and I'm gonna use this highlighter right now. I'm gonna use it with a fluffy Moda Pro Glow Brush. Did you guys see this? Like this is so beautiful, this highlighter as well. Oh, look at that highlight it gives. Gorgeous. And let's apply it to the cheekbones here. This is so pretty and so natural looking. Like it doesn't leave that white streak. It just melts into your skin. So make sure you just blend it nicely. I wonder how this one, look at this one from the Dior one. This is more of a white one, but it's stunning. I wonder if I should add that a tiny bit with my finger and give myself more glow this is so beautiful actually look it looks so white but it looks it doesn't leave a white cast on the cheek stunning okay so for blush i'm gonna go into both palettes at first i'm gonna go into the charlotte tilbury nude gas and i'm gonna use this blush right here and for that I'm gonna use a Moda buffer brush and apply this so this is more of a closer to a bronzy type of blush so it matches really nice with all these bronzers we have on so it's very subtle going very little by little a little bit on the nose and now on top of this I'm gonna go in with these two together so this blush and highlighter together so I'm gonna go kind of like this and add on top for an extra glowy look wow but I think that the complexion looks just stunning with this palette it's beautiful oh no. let's use the powder I'm gonna go back into my jouet powder and I'm gonna use a big fluffy this is a moda blush brush I'm just gonna dip in here like this and put in the t-zone of my face and diffuse the lines around the you see I'm adding powder and it still lets my face glow through and not dry my face at all like you don't see any dry patches you don't even know that I'm wearing powder at all I'm gonna move on to my Tom Ford palette this is the eye color quad in the shade suspicion and it's this beautiful neutral palette so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and use that as my transition shade. So I'm gonna use a Real Techniques and this is the Essential Crease Brush. And let's apply this shade, which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna apply it right above my crease. Now these shades are so beautiful. They all have shimmers in them, but when applied to the eye, it just looks stunning. Like you don't see any big shimmers or anything. It just adds a very nice natural looking type of um, shade on your eyelids. Definitely, oops, a definitely beautiful, beautiful palette. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this golden one and I'm gonna put this in my um, crease. So let me give you some swatches before I move along. This is the shade that we used as my transition shade right now. I'm gonna go in with that golden shade that we're gonna use in the crease. And this is the darkest shade right here. And then I'm gonna go into the lightest one. In the lightest one, I'm gonna put it in the inner corner beautiful shades what do you guys think okay so let's go into that golden one which is the second shade here and put it in the crease using the same brush I'm gonna use the real techniques and this is more of a flat head brush and I'm gonna use this and go into the darkest shade right here and put it almost like all over the, the eyelid like outer corner and bring it close to the inner corner and blend in the inner corner whatever's left on the brush yeah I'm doing more of a smoky eye today this looks stunning so I'm gonna go into my first brush that we've used 
and kind of diffuse any sharp lines here and blend everything into the crease. So now I'm gonna go into that lightest shade right here and apply this in the inner corner like this. I barely touched the shade and look at this payoff I'm getting from this shade. Oh, I love this combo. What do you guys think? It looks beautiful. So I'm gonna go in with the dark shade right here and apply this on the bottom lash line. And I'm gonna use a small, small fluffy brush like this, which is a small blending brush. This is by Manakadar. And let's apply it on the bottom. And I'm gonna switch brushes with my first flat head brush from Real Techniques. Go into the same shade and intensify this color closer to the lash line. And on top, I'm gonna go in with this golden shade right here. Add it on the bottom lash line to, to tie in all these colors together with what we have on the eyelid. Okay, so the eyes are pretty much done. Now I'm gonna go in with this lightest um, highlighter in here. Like, it's not a highlighter, it's like the lightest shade. And I'm just gonna put it in the inner corner. And then on top, I'm gonna go in with this Dior shade right here, which is the strobe white shade. And I'm gonna add this on top for more of a lighter highlighter. Wow, beautiful. And then the same shade I'm gonna use just to define the brow bone here. This is from the Dior shade. I mean the Dior palette. This is so, so beautiful. I'm so excited for this look. Now, let's spray the face. I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Give it a good, good shake, it says. And I'm gonna spray the face before I apply mascara to set everything in. And before I actually spray, let me use this concealer brush and clean up any sharp edges here. And I wanna zoom you guys in to show you that this whole time I did not fix my under eye area and look how beautiful it looks. Like there's absolutely no creasing. You guys see this? There's no creasing from that powder and that powder has not dried up my face. There's no flakiness, no dry patches. Skin looks just gorgeous and hydrating and refreshing. So this powder, it is just wonderful on the face, wonderful. Everything worked out really good. So let's apply the spray. Oh, this is such a beautiful spray on the face. It just hydrates everything and the spray is just very mild and not strong. For mascara, I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eye Mascara. So I'm gonna apply this, enjoy this intermission, and I'll see you right back with lipstick and my final thoughts. So here is the mascara applied. Uh, be careful with this mascara. A lot of product comes on the wand. So make sure you wipe it. And when you apply it, don't go fully in. Go slowly. Uh, let the wand touch your eyelashes quite um, softly so you don't get clumpiness. But otherwise, it's a beautiful, voluminizing, and lengthening mascara. I love it. Now let's go in with the lips. For lips, I'm going to use this Sephora lip product this is by lip stories love 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 so it's this one right here and i'm gonna show you how beautiful this shade is like this is what the product looks like such a beautiful nude shade but when you apply it this is what it looks like right here it's a beautiful nude shade and i think that this lip shade works perfectly with this nice very natural soft sun kiss type of look we have on the face i'm gonna line my lips with the ColourPop lippy in the shade little one uh, it's just a tiny bit more on the rosy side right here just for a little bit definition you see it's not as rosy on my lips it's very similar to my lip color and now let's go on with the lipstick Ooh, this is very nude lip color. Interesting. I love this lip color. It's so nude and I think it's perfect for this eye look. So I'm gonna give you my final thoughts now. 
There is Kona, she hears people. Kona. Anyways, let me give you my final thoughts. Let me start with what did we apply first? Oh, the Liz foundation, the serum foundation. You guys already know I really love this foundation. It is a beautiful, hydrating, perfect coverage foundation for a natural look. The Jouet powder, oh my goodness. This is a perfect powder if you have dry skin or oily skin. It would work on both because it's a pressed powder and for dry skin, it also helps to hydrate your skin and it does not cause any cakiness. It does make your makeup last all day long as I did put this to the test yesterday. I wore a mask and everything looked beautiful at the end of the night. It does not crease your under eye, so you can use this all over the face, including your under eye area and on your eyelids ready for your eyeshadow. It's just a beautiful powder, definitely recommended. You get a lot in here. This is the Padme Graph and this is the Jouet, so you guys can tell the difference. They're both beautiful powders and I recommend them. Moving on to the Charlotte Tilbury Nudegasm Face Palette. I love this palette because you can use it all over the face, including the eyes. You can create an eye look with it. And the shades in here are perfect. It's nude, but it's perfect nude, not too light and not too dark. The shades are just perfect for my skin tone. And this shades right here, there they are. You can see them. You can use them as bronzers and as um, contouring as well. Today I didn't because I've used enough bronzer on my face, but they're beautiful. And the blush is so subtle and such a perfect peach brick type of shade. It looks like I'm wearing a uh, bronzer instead of a blush and the highlighter is just gorgeous. Now moving on to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sunkissed Cream Bronzer. This is a moussey bronzer. It applied on my face so smoothly. It has melted into the skin. It's just like applying a moisturizer with a little bit of tint. So this is such a beautiful shade, the sun-kissed shade. It looks like you apply caramel cream to your face. It was, it's just a gorgeous shade and I, I'm happy to have this. And I like to pair this with a powder bronzer because that way your bronzer lasts longer and it still gives you that nice glowy look. And the Liss powder bronzer in the shade Motivate Light is a perfect match whether you apply it on top of the cream bronzer or you use it by itself. It's just a beautiful bronzer to have on your face and it blends smoothly. You don't see any sharp lines. It's a perfect color. It's not too more too on the red side or too on the yellow side. It's just a perfect color for your face. Oh, this Dior, this Dior Backstage Go Face Palette is just beautiful in every way. You don't think you uh, grab any product on your uh, brushes, but you actually do. And when you apply it to the face, you can actually see the payoff this palette gives you. I love combining them together. You can even go all over with the brush and apply it to the face and use it as bronzer and highlighter and blush all in one. So this palette is so versatile, so beautiful, I love it. Now for, you guys know how I feel about the Lancome, I love this product. Uh, the Sephora Pro Foundation 56 brush, it's a beautiful brush to apply your foundation with. It applies the foundation so smoothly and so effortlessly. The bristles are soft, dense and long, which is perfect to applying foundation like painting it on your face. Beautiful foundation brush, definitely recommend it. And for the eyeshadow, what do you guys think? Tom Ford, let me zoom you in and give you a close up look of my eyes. I also went ahead and used like a brown eyeliner in my waterline, so it kind of intensifies the eyes a bit more. But this is how the eyes look like. What do you guys think? I think that this palette is just beautiful. It's so beautiful on the eyes, so easy to use, and the shades just melt 
beautiful together. There's absolutely no patchiness. There is no fallout. It's a very easy to use for absolutely anyone, even a beginner. The shades are very neutral and the pigment is there, allows for you to build it up. So it's not like a lot of pigments. You have to slowly build it up and I'm loving it. Beautiful palette. What else do we have here? Oh, the Sephora lipstick in the shade Love Love. This is the Lip Stories lipstick by Sephora and it's just a gorgeous nude hydrating lipstick. I highly recommend this Sephora lipsticks. I have another one in the shade, oh yeah, this is in the shade 7, this is in the shade 65. The 65 is the um, spike shade. These lipsticks are just stunning. They're very affordable, they're very hydrating and beautiful on the lips. Definitely recommend the Sephora lipsticks. I want to go ahead and buy a ton more shades because they are so worth it and the packaging is just so cool. They have this cool designs on them and they look like they're paper or cardboard. It's just so unique and stunning. Okay. I guess that's it. This is all of the makeup I've received on my birthday. You've guys already seen my haul and today I've just showed you how they all apply on the face and I'm just so excited to have all this in my collection. So if you did enjoy this video, I would love for you guys to subscribe if you liked it and I guess I will see you in my next one. And remember, always be yourself. Love you guys. Bye.